What's going on? Average Tech Guy here, and today we are back. More tech, more reviews, and finally, Apple has done what we've been asking them, or matter of fact, what they said they would do a couple of years ago when it came to the iPad Pro and like making it more like a computer experience. Well, they've done a little bit of that, but let's jump right into, well, here's the video. <laughs> All right, so iOS 16, that's a big number because we've been a long way with operating systems with the iPad and the iPhone, but we're finally on number 16. And with number 16, we got a lot of new features. I'm not here to talk about all those, but the main thing that I'm gonna focus on today is going to be their new feature called Stage Manager. Yeah, Stage Manager is one of those things that Apple has been telling us they were gonna give us for the past year or so, and it never arrived, but now it's finally here. So let's see what we think about it. Now, when you're getting into Stage Manager, the first thing you are gonna wanna think about is how do you activate it? Because if you notice in the actual demonstration, Craig said you had to activate this. So what you're gonna do is just pull down from the side up here and this last little icon down here, is stage manager and we're gonna turn it on but if you hold it down it actually says right here turn off stage manager so that stage manager that's on that is what is going to give you the ability to have those floating widgets and things like that so once you actually get stage manager turned on all you got to do is start with an application so we're going to just choose safari and Safari is gonna open up, it's gonna start up, and then we're gonna just be able to do our normal scrolling, things of that nature. But if you wanna activate those different floating applications or those floating windows, you're just gonna come down here to the bottom right-hand corner where the little icon is. You can actually just scroll that and screen that in and make it smaller. You can even make it a little bit bigger if you want to, however you like. So that's one good aspect of this. Now, the thing about this is they said you can have multiple windows open within this. So how do you open those multiple windows? First thing you gotta do is come up and click on those three little dots and if you wanna add a window, it's in the beta mode and it's gonna say not available yet. <laughs> but those, that's where you're gonna add the windows, the multiple windows. Now if you wanna just take and get rid of that one, leaving this, and then let's try up here, click on it. Okay, now it's gonna give us, and we'll open up, there we go. Now let's see if we can do it again, boom add not available yet so in the beta is letting us do two right now but i think he said up to six or eight i'm not 100 percent sure but it can let us do two right now so we got that option we have that we have that capability now if you want to swap between these basically it's just as simple as clicking on the one that is behind the other one and it brings it to the forefront so this is something that we kind of been looking forward to that's gonna be able to take full advantage of the pro power, the M1 power. And I still don't think that this is the best of the best that they can do for this because the M1 is supposed to be like the best, most powerful thing they came up with. And all they did was basically give us floating windows that we can kind of rearrange. And you can kind of take these around the screen, let's see. And since this is the beta, it's gonna be a little buggy, but you can kind of just do what you need to do with it, make it bigger, make it smaller. Now, one of the other aspects that they spoke about was the ability to connect this to an external display. Now, we know that we have been promised this in previous like iterations of iPad OS, but today we're gonna go to one of these monitors back here and we're gonna plug it up just to see. Now, in the show, they plugged it up to an Apple monitor. Now, behind me, I have Samsung monitors, an M7 and an M8, they're over there on that side. That is what we are gonna be trying out. So let's go back there, plug it in, and see what is going to happen. All right, so for this process, I'm gonna be using my Samsung M8 that I have right here. So I got it on the Magic Keyboard right now because we wanna test out the mouse capabilities. So let's just go ahead and plug this bad boy in, and let's see what happens. All right, so. Now we do get the screen as they promised. We got the dock and all that good stuff. So you can see, as you can see, I'm gonna lay this down just for a moment. We got the whole dock down here. We got the whole desktop right here. So let's go ahead and play with this and see what we can do. Now, 
I want to see what is going to open up over here on this screen. So let's just click on that. Boom. Okay. It brings it over here and my mouse is working over here on this device. And let's see, we can add a page. Yep. Browsing as normal. All right. Let's see. How do we close? Uh, we're going to close up here. So boom, close and here we'll close. All right. Perfect. So that is working. Now we know that this still is a beta. We still have little kinks and things like that to get out. But for the most part, what they told us is working. And if I come over here to my iPad, I can just pretty much do the same exact stuff. Like I'm going to swipe up and take this home. If I want to go through, go into pages and let's say I want to, can I drag this up yet? Yeah, nope. So it's not allowing me to drag the actual application up and out of the way. So that's not working, but I can come over here and let's say if I want to open up pages over here, it brings it up and over here on this computer. So this is what we have been waiting for, for the past few years or so. Like the ability to be able to use our iPad in this mode, like Samsung has Dex, we're able to bring it over here and do our thing. Now, if we want to open up multiple apps in this format, boom, hit here, hit plus, and we're going to just choose an application and we're going to go and open up. There we go. So now we got two right here side by side and we're able to use both of them. Now uh, let's see how far they'll let us go. No, it's only gonna let us do two right now, but we do get the picture. We know that it's gonna be working and we are ready for the full experience with this. Cause I think it's gonna be a game changer in how people use their workflow and things of that nature. So if you wanna make one of these, the full screen, you come in here and you click the full screen tab and it blows the whole thing up. And you don't have to worry about those bars, those ugly bars that we've been using for the past few years. They are gone. They are done away with. That's what we wanted. Now, one of the other things that I really liked about um, this whole setup, and I'll show you right now, is that let's say you are in your photos. We're going to just click on photos and we got notes already open right here. So I'm going to bring notes to the forefront and I'm going to start a new note. And since we got a new note right here, I'm going to go back to photos and let's say you want to bring a photo. Let's see if we can do it. Bring it over into this document. Boom. And it comes over like I, I like that holds that whole vibe the fact that I can just kind of go between the applications now with photos and things like that. So it's well overdue, but we appreciate what they've done. And normally Apple sits back and they watch everybody else and they say, Hey, how can we do this better? How can we do this bigger? And they perfect it. And this is what is going on with iPad OS 16. So hopefully this is going to give you a little bit of introspective of what this is going to do. If you want to know more specific things about this, I'm going to be using it all week. So just drop a comment down below and let me know exactly what you want to know about. I'm going to try to put together some specific videos just so we can hit it like boom, boom, boom. And instead of just doing one whole big overview where you forget and everything kind of gets jumbled up. So this will be like a little series of iPad OS 16 videos since I actually have this beta ready to go. But just let me know down below in the comment section what you want to see, what you want to know, and I'll do my best to get those questions answered. So hopefully this has been able to help someone out. And until next time, be sure and give me that big thumbs up. Please subscribe. Average Tech Guy out. Peace.